Get in. Guess what day it is? Trick Tutorial Tuesdays. That's right. Welcome back to today's Trick Tutorial. And today, it's going to be a bit more advanced. It is going to be the toe side railing. Quite a heavily requested one um, in the comments section we've seen. So here it is today, the toe side railing. I'm going to let you start off with the first tip today, Liam. The toe side railing is definitely one of the more advanced air tricks you can do on the cable. I'd say don't rush to try this one. If you're not ready, maybe leave this one until you've worked on your air tricks a little bit more and you've got that super strong toe side edge and have the experience of being in the air. Yeah, so make sure that you are comfortable with the toe side edge and with any air trick, the main place you want to be trying this trick is between the last corner and motor tower. So that is the place where most cables have the most tension so it's probably going to be the easiest for you to land. Yeah, so you're going to be throwing this on that last straight and first things first, you're going to want to have that super strong toe side edge. You're going to initiate this air trick slightly to the inside of the running wires as you start your cut. You're going to want to have a similar sort of cut to the Rayleigh where you're cutting around three seconds long and building up the tension on your toe side edge this time. Yeah, when you start cutting for the toe side really, I've personally found this quite difficult to learn, but it's really important that you keep this part of your elbow locked onto your stomach. So your backhand elbow is locked onto your stomach and you wanna keep that handle in really in line with your front hip. You can then keep your hips forward and drop into that toe side cut. Keeping everything nice and tight in the cut is the real key to this trick. As we've said in the previous tutorials, the more you can keep those hips up, that is just going to drive that tension all the way through your body, down to your board, and you're going to get the release shot after. Next is the toe side Rayleigh release. This is a very difficult part of the toe side Rayleigh. The toe side Rayleigh release is definitely one that takes a lot of practice, but you will get there in the end. Yeah, definitely is one where you're going to have to persevere for a little while, but yeah, exactly like Liam said, you'll get there in the end. With the toe side Rayleigh release, the main thing that you want to do is make sure that you're scooping with your front foot. You want to push your foot down and out, similar to a heel side Rayleigh, but just the other On way around. Your toes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, basically. Pretty much this one is going to take as Ryan said, a little while for you to get the hang of and even with everyone explaining the release on a toe side rally to me, it took me at least five or six goes to even get a feeling of how it felt releasing off my toe side edge as it is such a weird feeling. So work on this one and uh, yeah, have a few tries at it with that release. Yeah, so once you have released and you feel the cable pulling you up, it's really important that you start to keep your chest up and bring your shoulders round, okay? I see a lot of people that are trying toe side railies for the first time that keep their shoulders sideways and then they end up in a term called the dentist chair where they're basically just outside, legs crunched up and it's not a very pretty looking thing. No one wants to be in that position. So once you start going up in the air, make sure you square your shoulders off and then you're gonna feel like you're in a very familiar position to a normal railie. Yeah, and Fingers crossed, you're gonna be high enough on this toe side railing. And when you're in that familiar railing position, make sure that you extend your body out. And as soon as you feel that you are fully released in the air, you're gonna pull your arms back down to your left hip or right hip, depending on which way you're trying it. And uh, yeah, back down to that original foot forward and just prepare for that landing, bending your knees and hopefully riding away clean. Yeah, so those were our tips for the toe side Rayleigh. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure to give us a thumbs up if it's helped you. Don't forget to subscribe and send it to any of your friends that are trying this trick. And yeah, that's it. Peacock Brothers out for this Trick Tutorial Tuesday. That's it from us. Make sure you check out some of our other vlogs and we'll be back next week with another tutorial for you guys.